Welcome to Ace MTG and my journey to find a good home for Delny. So I already tried a pretty cool kind of Naya build that had all sorts of triggers all over the place. I, I've talked about doing the, some Orzov, maybe some Orzov life gang with it, but I really thought the best home for Delny was going to be in this Bant Toxic. Bant Toxic is already a strong deck. I know, last time I played, I think it was late January, and I said, this deck sucks. It's because it wasn't doing well for me, and let's face it, I am playing best of one. And if you look at what are some of the most common decks in best of one, Boros Confoke, 100% most common right now. Then we have Mono Red, that's the second most common. Slesnia Enchantments, Mono White Humans, those have fallen off a bit, but they're still at least 5% each. So we're looking at quite a bit of the meta are those four decks, and this has a bad win rate. We're talking 40% and lower against those ones. So that's why I said it sucks. It's much more of a best of three deck, and it really excels well in those matchups when you have a grindier matchup, when you go against a lot of control. So if you start seeing some Azorius control, now we're talking we got a 60 65 percent win rate with it and that's what this deck wants so i want to try out delny though in this shell because of the double triggers for a couple reasons one annex century now when this comes down it's going to be able to hit two things potentially if i'm going up against the mono red that will be able to hurt them i don't think it's going to be able to hurt boros convoke because they just normally go a little bit too wide on it mono white humans though and enchantments i definitely think it could do something there then you get the double triggers from the crawling course so when this thing dies you're gonna then get two of those one one might tokens and then the other nice one is your rot priest so instead of getting one poison counter when they target one of my creatures they're now gonna get two on that and then it still has all the same synergies to win right you're looking rot priest and then you're marching a whole bunch of your creatures you're looking turn one screlv turn two into your duelist, you give it protection, you hit him for four poison counters. A couple copies of Skrull. I only have two in here because I think in best of one, yeah, it's nice, but too often, best of one is a super aggro meta, and then us losing life, it's just not good enough. Best of three, 100% you have it, or you have extras in the sideboard. But we have to cut some things to get the Delny in here. I think as far as uh, with proliferates, I think the snare is a little better than our augury. We want things for tempo. We want want to bounce because if they're going against any type of one control deck we might need to bounce our own creatures trigger off our rot priest but more importantly if we're going against super aggro at the right time a monstrous range bounce that creature back to their hand save us a little bit of life so the deck has already been pretty well flushed out all we're doing here is we're adding in delny does it belong? The one thing I'm incredibly curious about and why I thought this was going to be the best home is because Delny's first ability here. It says creatures you control with power two or less can't be blocked by creatures with power three or greater. So all of our creatures are going to be smaller than that. So the hope is we get a bunch of our little toxic creatures swinging in, getting that damage. But I think this is going to be the best home for Delny. And if it doesn't work here, I just don't think Delny is standard rhetoric. I think we're going to have to wait into our new set over the summer, which is going to come out July 30th, and that's when we're going to have our rotation. And then maybe we're going to have a whole bunch of new decks, and Delny will finally find a home there. So make sure you stay to the very end of the video, and that's where I'm going to give you my final thoughts and let you know if this actually fits in this deck or not, and where I'm going to let you know what Jiu-Jitsu belt this deck deserves. So let's go ahead and jump on the ladder and test out Bat and Toxic again and see if I still think it sucks. Going first, I like this hand. I mean, the only thing make it better if we could get another white mana, because uh, white or green, and we're happy. All right, so because of that, I'm going to go Crawling Chorus, Hope we get a white or a green so we can double drop next turn. Ooh, that's not good though. Temporary lockdown is just gonna wipe this out. All right, so we'll just go right here. This is gonna be a late game plan then. So if we're going against Azorius Control, late game plan is you get a couple of these down and we have our march and we just swing in for a ton right then and there. Right, already having them up to three. Too bad we don't have the land. You would love to get the Rot Priest down and then just bounce it to your own hand. So I'm expecting a temporary lock. Ooh, a Celestis, okay. All right, we'll bounce that back. No early Sunfall for him. All right, now we have him at four. We got the Fading Hope. Okay, so that means we go Rot Priest. Get him to six. We could bounce. 
Bounce our Rock Priest, we'll put him at seven. Temporary lockdown. Nope, not good enough. It's a whole lot of thing we're supposed to be testing out is the Delny, but it's not gonna work in this case. Okay, so we get the land. I think we have to put a little, hmm. They're not gonna really have creatures. I think we just double drop. We, we're gonna try. I know the reason they were playing Celestis on turn three though and not temporary lockdown, I think they wanted a Sunfall. So I'm pretty sure they just have the Sunfall. Another temporary lockdown, okay. Just as bad. All right, we go Rot Priest again. And maybe I should have been a little bit more patient. So if I had saved, I guess, my Rot Priest until I get more spells to save them, that could be my final poison counters we need. Because now I'm looking at, I need a Skrelp. And okay, Sunfall just for the one. Okay, another Rot Priest. We'll take it. So now I think I'm gonna be careful with that Rot Priest, right? Okay. Don't want to let it go to night. So also another good way to get rid of the Celestis. Right, because I don't want them to even pay the three and have it flip day night. I suppose. Mm. Yeah, I don't want another wrath. I hate for them to use something like a get lost on this and we don't give them the poison counter. But if we were gonna play it and they had it in response, they would have just done it. Okay. So Wandering Emperor. So this makes it less likely now for them to want a temporary lockdown. We must protect the people. I would go Restless Anchorage and attack in. Right, call my bluff. Because I don't think I would block because I would be worried about a Ganjo of their own. Yeah, see, I think that's a wasted, uh, a, a, like, just not attacking there. Because if I block, right, their creature doesn't die. So no harm, no foul. Ooh, another. Okay, that's going to start. Oh, my gosh. There it is. They're at eight. Uh, Got to play the land. We have the no more lies mana. You would love to fire this off right now and win the game. But if they have no more lies, then we're screwed. Gotta play around that somehow. So we need either a land or a blue spell we could ditch. Obviously, if they go with some sort of spot removal. Wait a minute. All we have to do is target, right? Finish him. All right, yeah, there it is. I'm sorry. I forgot. It doesn't even matter if they do counter this. It gives them the poison counters anyway. All right, almost made a huge mistake right there. Yeah, so you still know more lies, but the trigger still hit, and that's what I was worried about. GG's. Just forgot about the timing on that one. All right, nice, good first victory against Azorius Control, which I think could be a tough matchup, right? They double temporary locked down us. We had Delny, we could have had, we put it to the bottom. We decided we were better off without it this game. Rock Priest came through for us though.
Ooh, all spells, no creatures. We're gonna have to mulligan that one. Okay, we'll keep this. We're gonna ditch a land. Yeah. All right. So I think Crawling Course is probably our best bet. And what... Are we straight to mirror? Are we against the deck to reenact the crime that keeps just beating me over and over again? I guess we'll find out in a moment. Okay. Oof. Oh, actually, we don't even have the green. Okay, that's right. Didn't even realize that. We'll swing you in. All right, so it's got to be another crawling course. Boy, we hit that green, though. We are so good with a couple marches. All right, end step. At least we got that first poison, so we can start using some of that proliferate. The only good thing is now that we don't see any white. Yeah, okay. I was going to say, we know they have the mass removal in black, but then we'll get our triggers off of this. All right, green sword. Oh, come on. We need that green source real bad. I think... I think we just attack in with both. At least get one. I think the whole goal here is get them as many toxic counters as possible. Right? Especially if we're sitting on double rock priest, double march. We have the late game. We just need to draw into it now. It's crazy to think that all I'm looking for now is some land. Ugh. Don't like that. Gonna get rid of my Skrelv. Does give me my treasure though. That's pretty important for us. Okay. With that said... I will do this, right? They don't have the counter magic up. We have enough to march two of these, so we pass. An interesting Demir right now. One, you don't see Ledger Shredder all that often. And, right, outside of Pirates, you don't see it as often either. Okay, so very interesting deck. Artivisor, Pirate, and Detective. I mean, all Flyers, so all Demir Flyers, has a Spell Pierce. That Spell Pierce, though, that's scary. At least we would give him the Poison Triggers no matter what. So now, again, if we get that green, we are in such good shape. Boy, that Spell Pierce, though, that definitely worries me now. It gets me thinking. All right, we have a Skrelv. We'll play that. And we just pass again. We're going to keep just doing this pass and go. Number one, we don't want to double spell tr trigger their Shredder until we know we're in really good shape. They got land for days. We'll go for the throat. Let that resolve. Not the march you would love, and normally you would ditch your other blue cards, but I can't afford to, right? So they kill my Rot Priest. That is at least three poison we're going to do off of that one Rot Priest. Wait a minute. When you slip out the back, does that enter the battlefield again? Oh, they got a bat. Oh, that's a bummer. And now they have a blocker too. Okay. Surprise they took my Rod Priest there. All right, so that's good. So now we're going to give this protection for blue. I right, puts him up to five.
Yeah, I wonder, I think they thought Slip Out the Back maybe brought this back. I'm not sure. Little surprise you would attack with a bat because you might want it to be a blocker. So you would love to use this right now. Okay. I don't think they have a kill spell. Well, they know about my march though. This is risky. Do we risk it? That could cost us the game. We're at 10. So we don't have many more turns, so I think we have to do it. I think we need to untap land. All right, so now we're now we got it. Okay. So it comes down. Now we're going to do this for 3, 1 2 3. Pay 3, 1 2 3. And that's the three triggers right there. We got them. Whew. Yeah, we barely get there. And that's the bat, right? They should not have taken my Rot Priest. They 100% should have taken that march. And if they did, I think they would have won that game. Okay. This looks like a keeper. Skrelv into Duelist we always love. We'll go ahead and keep it. Not necessarily the mana we're absolutely thrilled about, but we'll take it. See what we're up against, because we have spot removal, right? Obviously, that Skrell Duelist doesn't work out so well. Okay, we are going to be off to the races then. Just come on, give us... What do we want? Give us mana one, but I would love a blue. A blue source would be so good right now. Okay, let's see if they do the thing. Blow it up and convoke. Do they do the ultimate on turn two? Okay. Ah. <laughs> all right, they do it all. Um, yeah, I don't think we could come back from that. Okay, that that could have been worse. And we miss. Um, so it's got to be Rot Priest. Protection from white. Fortunate thing is, too, they have these red things to block, too. So four poison counters, but three Delnys in hand. I think I'm only playing three, so we draw all of them. So I've been trying to figure out, does Delny fit in this deck? How well does it do? And then the first game where we're really going to potentially be able to use it, we, number one, can't get it down. Wow. Okay. Smart. Oh, not smart. No, actually, you have an artifact to play. I changed my mind. Okay, so you still do have the blockers. Okay. Okay. That could be the blue. So what do we do? Protection from red. They could block with both. They have four, so that would get double strike. So I think we go protection from red. Have the bounce spell. Who do we bounce, though? I mean, that's just going to be a basic chump block right there. I guess we bounce the warden. Ugh. Not liking things right now. I'm just going to go Delny. See what we could do with this. All right, yeah, we pass. So you love Delny's ability where creatures you control with power two or less can't be blocked with creatures three or greater. But the problem is their whole battlefield, except for their knight, is all going to be able to block us. And the next turn, they're going to swing in for this victory. So how do we do six damage or six poison to them? All right, we don't have blue. Normally, you'd say if we draw a march, we'd be able to do it, but we don't have the blue mana and the march, so can't do that. And they keep on top, too. 
either you have a recruiter or that is a recruiter. I can't imagine anything else you would keep on top. Well, they had the great turn two start, the absolute perfect thing you could do. They just didn't find the things to make it pop off. All right, so now we finally get our blue. Uh, I mean, yeah, there's just nothing here, right? I mean, that we could target our own Rot Priest. That does two. Yeah, we just pass. I mean, just nothing. Are you right? Give protection. They have the artifacts, they have black, they have red, they have white, all the block. So something could block this. We don't have trample. Yeah, there's no point of even blocking here. That's all lethal. I guess, I mean, if we want to live, we could have bounced the sanguine, I guess, and it wouldn't have been it wouldn't have been all of that damage. Okay, this is good. We keep this. This is probably one of our better hands. One drop, two drop, into our Rock Priest with protection. See if we got a Azorius control player. Yep, Azorius control player. What do you know? And when you see that, you have to be hell happy of getting the Skrull's Hive. Now, the only issue here is temporary lockdown gets rid of this as well. That's why temporary lockdown is just so good. Okay. Nice. We're gonna swing in first. See if they just have the removal spell. Okay, they wanna bounce it. Interesting. Yeah, we'll allow that. Let's just keep it on top. We'll replay it. And then... I'm going to go Rot Priest. I just feel like if you have Temporary Lockdown, do you really go Hornlock Whale? Okay. They do. So now I wish I didn't do that because Skrell's Hive is so good. Yeah, maybe that was a mistake. I just had the vibe though that they didn't have it. All right, we'll pass. So we could save our Rot Priest again. Man, that beautiful start we had. Man. Still kicking myself. So if we didn't play the Rot Priest, right? We would have kept our Skrelv's Hide. We would have played it again. In fact, I probably would have played it, played my land. Mm. Yeah, I would have played it again, played the land, and played Crawling Chorus. The following turn, then I have the Rot Priest and Fading Hope. Yeah, that would have been a lot better. Okay. Okay, okay, Mirix is good. It is gonna flip to Knight though, unfortunately. So that puts him at five. Man, it is just so tempting to bounce this now. Right, because they're struggling with mana right now. And if we let them find their threat, I'm gonna have to bounce it anyway, and then they would have also gotten value off of it. I'm doing it now. Just give them that extra counter, put that back in our hand. Ah, uh, ooh, that could get rid of, okay, that's good. I'll, I'll keep that. Right, if they could get rid of the Celestis, especially with them having some mana issues right now. So they're gonna let it flip to Knight themselves. So 
So probably no depopulate. They're probably full of lockdowns and then sunfalls. Interesting it's taking them so long. Okay, another oh, another whale. I find that interesting. Should have done that first. That was a mistake. Huge mistake. I guess I wanted to avoid the counter spell. Okay, so in hindsight, yeah, no, I'm still I'm still happy with that play. Because the thing I was most worried about was a counter spell for the scent. Okay, yeah. So we're we're still okay with that. Get rid of that. End step now. Now they have to find their lands, right? They're sitting at three lands. You temporary lockdown, you get rid of your creature. Okay, so they found found a land. They're probably gonna make another two two. Yeah. We could swing in though with this one to at least kill one of theirs. Oh no, we don't want to do that though. If we find a land, I guess we'll use this. Hmm. Alright, that's good. It's already night. All right, we're gonna pass. So memory deluge, yep. All right, so now they're gonna have all the lands that they need. So if they sunfall and then minus this, I might go with my experimental augury instead of getting the Mirix token down. Okay, they plus it though. Interesting. We got the edge in this fight. So if I'm them, I attack with both. One, I would have to be worried about a Gon... No, I don't have to be worried about a Gonjo, I don't think. Because if you had a Gonjo, you would have played it as the land a while ago. So they could have another Wandering Emperor. Oh, buddy. Let's think. We have the blue. We have it. All right, get this down. Go right here. If this sticks. Ah! Okay. Darn. All right, so they still have two mana available. They could still get lost. We could just march those two and swing in. I think we try. Okay, so now we get in this way, and now we should be good. Okay, so now they're at nine. We have the proliferate. Five mana kind of forces them into a sunfall. They do the sunfall, and now we have it. Wow. And this is exactly why. Again, we won game one against Azorius Control, and we're going to do it again. And this is why this has been such a good deck in best of three for people. Sure, why not? Finish him off exactly there with the 10 poison. Oh, that was a tight one. Ooh. I think this is just a little too slow, not having any of the one drops. All right, let's mulligan that. We'll keep this and we're gonna ditch a land. Gotta keep the green. So it's really nice, right? We got the Skrelv into the Duelist, which we love. Last time I said that, we went against Boros Convoke, though, and we got ran over. And against Boros Convoke, we got to go first, too. But when they have that turn two start like that, it's just so hard to come back. I thought we gave them at least a nice battle. All right, so keep six. We're going to have to drop you off. Sleeves we got there. A little anime. All right. 
So scroll down first. And we still have to see, can this deck be uh, any type of aggro build? And we're not gonna get it now. Will this be the reenact crime though deck that just causes me fits? No info. Do I get greedy? I'm gonna be greedy. I think it's the reenact the crime deck. It's what I constantly go up against. It has the surveil land. Yep, it is. Glad I did it. So we're gonna go rot priest. We we do use the ability here though. Because now this is actually gonna hit uh shirt sure, blue. It's gonna give four poison as opposed to if we attack with them, it would be three. Okay, so we get them to five. And that would be four. I mean, they can't survive if they don't have a, a removal spell right now. They have to have it. All right, they have it. But by doing that, it gives them a sixth. Oh, we needed the land. Oh, that's so bad. So we could hit them for two and they go to eight. All right, we end step. We need them to target our creature again, but they could just win the game right here on the spot, turn four. Oh, okay. Makes a treasure token. You have three mana available. Okay. Whew, we do it. Wow, so often that deck will beat me on turn four. Anytime it comes to turn four, you are scared because that deck, that's all it takes and it's so consistent. The only thing I have noticed though is a lot of people now lately have been going with the collector's vault and typically when they go collector's vault, it takes them in turn five to actually be able to do it, right? Because you pay the two mana, but you get one. So really they need five to do the whole thing because you paid the two, now you get the one. So now the idea is now you reenact the crime for the four you kind of have left over with the treasure token. So I feel like maybe collector's vault has slowed it down just a little bit. Ooh, let's let's try this. All right, we got a one drop, then we got protection, we got a bounce. Okay, mono red. So this this is gonna be a test now. Unfortunately, the Kimono, I hate to see that. Right? The problem with the Kimono is I don't get my triggered effect with the crawling chorus. We could always bounce whatever gets the bump right here. It might be worth it. So my thinking here is, I mean, granted, they'll be able to play it again. Okay. Oh, wow, they leave that back. Wow, that's really smart of them. Wow, what are you doing, Mono Red player, being smart? I don't like that. All right, we'll go with Skrelv. Now we pass. So I don't, because I, I was going to, if they just swung in, I was going to give them the one toxic and then on their turn, I was going to be able to bounce their swift spear. If they go Godric here, we have the fading hope. I mean, these sentries could do some work. We'll see. Yes, yeah, so they're going lightning strike. Unfortunately, that thing is just toast. So they have something. Let's see if they use it. All right, Monstrous Rage. So that's gonna save us a little bit of damage there. So we'll go ahead and bounce you. Still a pretty big hit though, in for six. But now we get to take care of you. And we can attack in with the Skrelv because now we're worried about five damage to this. So potentially our two sentries are gonna be able to do some work.
Okay. See if they just keep going full aggression on us, though. If that last card's a Monstrous Rage, I guess that gets tricky. Yeah, all right. So we're still going to take three here. So we got to go Kamano because we need that Crawling Chorus to be able to live. All right, we pass again. We're just trying to not take damage. We need to block both of these. Worst case scenario is they find another Mishra's Foundry. Actually, worst case scenario is probably a Monstrous Rage, but... Okay, really good shape now. We have to leave two mana up for the Snare. So we're going to go right here. And then we really need to start finding some lands. If we find one land, we can at least get a duelist down. Wow, if we were able to stabilize on this, this is going to be huge. Oh, the Phoenix check. That's going to be... Uh, we we need to get a... We got to get a, a poison counter in. We'll, we'll keep taking the one until they sit there and try and monstrous rage it. Then we'll do the bounce. They have something. I mean, there's the stick. But, oh, I guess the stick is going to be on Misha's Foundry. That's right. Okay. <sighs> I hate that. It's the most mana efficient, though. We could just get one in... You know, I think Duelist might be better here, though. If we go Duelist, we could actually start putting some toxic pressure on them. So let's go there. Unfortunately for us, right, it doesn't give us a snare, which was our little safety cushion. Because now if they sit there and they monstrous rage on the chick, that's a whole lot of damage. So it's four, drop us to three, and then puts us in lightning strike range. So shields are down at the moment. Okay, good to see. So now I think I have to give this protection for, uh, I guess they could go foundry, huh? Okay, we get our land. That's interesting. We're gonna play it. All right, so now we have four poison for him. Okay, it's gonna be the duelist. We just have to live one turn and then we could finish them off here. So if they have a play with fire, lightning strike, and then the chick, we're gonna regret that. But we're hoping we get our one more turn. When they activate their foundry to block whatever I give protection from red, that's when I'm gonna bounce their foundry. Okay, they, they go, ooh. I mean, we got an easy blocking blocker on the crawling chorus. This is a block all the way around, no question. I have to say, 
probably not the greatest draw for Mono Red. I mean, they started off hot, but then they haven't been top decking like they normally would. And just these, these centuries really just stabilized, held them back. But just one more game, we're Delny. I'm not really doing anything with it. I mean, granted, if we got it down and then we use the centuries, that would have been great, but that would have been too slow. I couldn't have played Delny and waited on that. I had to get these down right away. Okay, so that should just be game. So we're gonna go protection from red. Interested in attack with Chick. So I'm gonna bounce one of them. Okay, so. Yeah, we just swing with everybody. Oh, it does say non-land permanent. Shoot! Uh-oh. <laughs> we made a boo-boo. <laughs> That's okay. I, I think we still could be in fine shape here. So we're going to have to use the seed core to make sure the land dies. Oh, read your cards. Okay, I was thinking fading hope, return target creature. But yeah, snare definitely does say return target non-land permanent. So they do have their blocker. One lightning strike, we're now dead though. Right, even with the bounce spell. Two, three, four. Oh, wait, no, that puts him at nine. Wait, we still have it. Oh. Right? Nine? Okay, we got it. Ooh. I was super worried there for a second. I was like, oh, maybe we just overdid it with that small little mistake. Ooh, cannot keep that one. Finally, we're able to beat our aggro deck and these things came in clutch, but that's just not gonna do it. All right, we'll keep this. We get rid of one Delny. So we got the Skrelv Jawbone Duelist, which we love. See if we're against Boros Convoke though. If we're against Boros Convoke, I mean, I don't think that's gonna do it. Yep. And I hate Sundown Pass in those decks. I just really do not like that. Uh, sure, we go here, we go here. So the issue now is Boros Convoke. They have lots of red creatures. We just, how are we going to be able to get this duelist in there? Definitely a slow start for Boros Convoke, though. I mean, last time we played them, they had the turn two. They convoke everything out. Were these the sleeves in the pre-release bundle? Oh, wow. Okay. I mean, they're just gonna go hit face. Do they wanna have four poison counters to hit me for five? Okay. I mean, really when you do the math, technically four poison counters is like eight damage and you just did five damage to me. We could go another and have the Fading Hope. Um, I think that is a yes, please. Oh, shoot. I should have gone to Ganjo. Oh, all damage hurts. All damage hurts. Yeah, I should have gone to Ganjo there. That was a big mistake. Uh, yeah, whatever. Whatever. 
So if they kill us by one life, we're definitely gonna be regretting that decision. And now we have the seed core activated. So now when we swing in, it's gonna make it really hard for them to block. I wonder if there's sin with a gleeful demolition in hand. Oh, you know what? I bet they have the case right now. I, I bet they probably have a gleeful demolition. They're waiting for one of their tokens. They might have a knight, but you don't want to tap down. So I'm going to say a knight, a gleeful demolition. And if they have a case, you think they would just fire it off, get rid of one of these duelists right now. At least we got them in the tank. So normally when they're in a tank like this, you don't see them drop these gig... Oh, oh, geez. If they freaking lethal demolition right now after that. Well, I mean, what were you thinking about? Okay. Still, it's a good blocker that we can't get through. So I'm going to have to bounce him. So we hope they go aggressive and they both attack in. The other option you would love to see is a scry. But if they scry, mm, let's see. So a scry and leaving them back to block would be a little, okay, okay, okay. So we're gonna go protection from white. We're gonna have to use the seed core. So we just attack with one of them. That's interesting. I trade one for their two. I'm I'm okay with ooh. Oh no, you didn't. Oh, please do this. Okay. So you want to kill three mana worth of things, and then that will die as well. Okay. All right, we're in great shape now. They are left with a Novice Inspector and a Clue Token. We're going to go Delny now, gets down, and we have Protection. So if they happen to have the case, we can now save it. We then could go Rot Priest. That's a double trigger if we target one of our own creatures. Gets them to six. We're forcing them to play a red spell. I do feel, I mean, I don't want to say anything bad about any opponents ever. Maybe they just don't have the cards, but I think a couple odd choices also. It almost feels, okay. It almost feels like somebody who built a Boros Convoke deck, is like took the list, but hasn't got to really play with it and flush it out yet. Okay, get the land down. Nope, don't do that. So we're gonna keep putting the pressure on because they don't have good blocks. Oh shoot, yeah, they can, they could double block. That was a mistake. All right, that's gonna get him to eight. And then we should finish this off right now. 
We go right here. And then we're gonna double trigger. Whew. All right, we got there. Just had to think about it. Them not blocking, that is absolutely insane right there not to do that. Welcome back, and we went on a good run there. Our one bad game was against Boros Convoke, where, yes, we were on the play. We had a great hand, but they did their thing. They turned to Convoke fill up the board, right? They already have five creatures on there by turn two. We just can't really make up for something like that. Now, every other game we did well. We got to see a lot of control. You got to see us go against Azorius control and showed exactly why this deck does so well against control matchups and why it's such a threat in best of three. We also then, we got a mono red and we did get Boros Convoke again. Now, I will say both Mono Red and Boros Convoke, they drew really, really poorly. And I don't know if the Boros Convoke that last time was piloted the best. Maybe they just didn't have the cards, but I think those are two wins where, yeah, we got lucky. Granted, this deck does win 30% of the time against those. It's just, we definitely are in a bad shape anytime we go up against them. So I was happy to get those wins, but it was nice to see this deck really perform and it has lots of options. The one thing though was, I would say Delny, you could put it in the deck or you could take it out. I don't think it really helps all that much. It was nice, right? That last game, we got the double trigger with the Rot Priest. I think we're gonna win that game anyway, so I don't know if that was necessarily needed. Perhaps if we didn't have Delny, right? Maybe we have another experimental augury and we were gonna get the win with another proliferate anyway. So the idea is it was kind of cool in certain spots, but the biggest thing I thought it was gonna do was all our creatures power two or less were not gonna be able to be blocked by our opponent. But then once I started playing and I started realizing I'm either going up against control, which doesn't have any creatures, and when they do, they're power two or less, or mono red, Boros Convoke, all these decks, most of their creatures are gonna be power two or less anyway, so they could block my creatures every single time. We did have that nice game where our Annex Sentry was coming in, and if we had a Delny, yeah, we caught the double triggers. So I think it's nice, but I don't think it's necessarily a thing that's gonna put it over the top. In fact, it might actually make the overall win percent with this deck a little bit lower. Now, with that said, as far as with Jitsu Belt, I am going to give it a brown belt, only because it does so well in best of three and it has been ranked as a tier one style deck. And I think it just recently might've gone down to tier two, but again, it's right at about a 55% win rate. So if you're one of the top seven decks in all of the format, I think that at least deserves a brown belt, but I don't think it could be black because it's going against Mono Red, it's going against Boros Convoke, Mono White Human, Slesney Enchantments, all of those it only has a 40% win rate, rate or less. That is too bad. That's far too much of the meta and especially for best of one that is completely aggro. But I will say I have to give it at least a brown belt because it does handle Azorius control pretty well and because it's such a great best three deck for all of you who love that format as well. So it was really fun. And I'm gonna have to say, as far as Delny is concerned though, I'm gonna wait. I'm waiting now until rotation for the summer. Maybe something else will pop up in the next set and I'll try this again, but I don't think Delny necessarily has a great home in our format, which is surprising. I thought this was gonna be one of our best cards. Time is gonna have to tell on this one. So until next time, never forget, you're an ace.